Yeah, it's, it's solvable. 49 years after the freeway phantom hunted girls on the streets near St. Elizabeth's Hospital, Blaine Pardo and Victoria Hester, a father-daughter writing team, are convinced someone could still find a key piece of evidence that will lead police to the killer. He kept textbooks from one of the girls. He kept hair curlers from another girl. He kept shoelaces from another girl. Some family member may stumble across those things and say, why did he keep this junk? April 25th, 1971, 13 year old Carol Spinks went out to buy groceries. Six days later, police found her body dumped along I-295. Barefoot, she had been sexually assaulted and strangled. Her twin sister still talks to her every day. You know, basically, I just say that um, I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. Three months after the first murder, detectives say the phantom struck again, abducting, raping, and murdering 16 year old Darlinia Johnson. Two people called after spotting her body, but police did not find her until 11 days later. They drove by, right. saw nothing, called the dispatcher and said, 10-8, we don't find anything. That's correct. A monster unleashed. Parents warn children in Southeast, so police say the phantom went Northwest and grabbed 10-year-old Brenda Crockett, then Northeast for 12-year-old Nanamosia Yates, 18-year-old Brenda Woodward was last seen alive at a bus stop on M Street Northeast. A year later, investigators say the phantom went back southeast for 17-year-old Diane Williams, whose sister became a DC police lieutenant. I would want him to come out and say, I did it. Investigators found a note in Brenda Woodward's pocket taunting them. This is tantamount to my insensitivity to people especially women, he wrote. I will admit the others when you catch me, if you can. Most of these girls were running errands for their parents, innocently playing outside, innocently walking to the store, and they're just gone. The authors name a number of possible suspects, but they think the most likely was a former patient here, a convicted killer named Robert Askins. Robert Askins spent time here in St. Elizabeth's. Um, he what had a problem with women that went back to the 1930s. He tried to kill women and successfully killed women. Police could never gather enough evidence to charge Askins, and he died in prison a few years ago. But after nearly five decades, Carolyn Spinks still hopes to tell her sister one more thing. Man, we know who it is. In Southeast D.C., Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9. A Prince George's County spokeswoman says the department is still actively investigating these murders. But in D.C., a spokesperson says these cases were purged years ago. They are no longer active investigations. Much of the D.C. evidence has been lost or misfiled, and it's not clear if there's enough left to even recover the killer's DNA.